After the insane takeover of Twitter, you know very well that Elon Musk will change the company from upside down. So, therefore, let's look at the five very important things that Musk is committing to change ASAP. Aside from firing the company's senior management after purchasing it, we've also spotted some notable changes, which we will be talking about in this video. Number 5. Blockchain Technology Implementation Let that sink in. Indeed, Musk is a crypto enthusiast. Elon had previously signaled his approval of Dogecoin on the site by suggesting that should he ever assume control, users would be allowed to pay in Dogecoin. Since then, the value of the digital currency has increased and grown steadily, while it is still far lower than that of its competitors. If the CEO can get away with merely using words, the coin's value might rise alongside other assets. We have also known for quite some time that Twitter had been working on features incorporating cryptocurrencies. A message from the Twitter dev account recently disclosed that the site will trial a tweet tiles tool to boost connections to select NFT markets. This may be the first of many radical adjustments, and you know well that Musk is an expert at monetizing products and services to increase the company's profits. Number 4. Verified Badge Monthly Fee Twitter's new owner revealed that the network would begin charging users $8 per month for its blue verification badge. Twitter's present lords and peasants systems for who has or doesn't have a blue checkmark is crap, Musk stated in one of his recent tweets. Blue is $8 per month. Prices are adjusted by nation in accordance with purchasing power parity. Verified accounts will also have priority in responses, mentions, and search, the option to upload extended video and audio, and half as much advertising. Users will also be able to circumvent paywalls for publishers ready to collaborate with us, he said. This would provide Twitter with an income stream to reward content providers. For someone who is a prominent person, there will be a secondary tag underneath the name, which is now the case for politicians, Musk added. He said that Twitter is also changing its authentication procedure. The whole verification procedure is now being redone. There are also speculations that Musk's business wants to hike its optional $4.99 per month premium membership, dubbed Twitter Blue, to $19.99 per month. According to the website, the idea entails making verification one of the platform's subscription service features, Twitter Blue, which is now optional and costs just $4.99 per month. Verified customers will now have 90 days to subscribe by paying the increased amount or risk losing their blue tick. Employees were informed about the initiative and were instructed to implement the plan within two weeks or face losing their jobs. Musk wants subscriptions to account for half of the company's overall revenue. Number 3. Big Changes in Content Moderation For years, Former CEO and co-founder of the company, Jack Dorsey, stressed Twitter's efforts to promote healthy dialogues, banning numerous accounts that announced abuse and spam, adding labels for inaccurate or misleading materials, and prohibiting the misgendering of transgender persons. According to safety experts, under Musk ownership, Twitter might reverse the moves made to make the network more appealing to its most vulnerable users, who are usually women or people of color. Musk had said that Twitter would have laxer content control measures under his leadership. Even doubt, let the speech exist, Musk remarked during an April onstage interview. If there is a gray area, I'd advise leaving the tweet alone. But clearly, if there is a lot of controversy, you wouldn't necessarily want to promote that tweet. Despite his vows to eliminate content regulations, Musk attempted to reassure advertisers that he doesn't want to convert the site into a free-for-all hellscape. The comments' common response to inquiries 
about whether advertisers would abandon the site for fear of their sponsored messages being mixed in with potentially undesirable materials. Elon Musk might also modify Twitter's emphasis on healthy dialogues. He said, Our platform must be warm and friendly to everybody, where you may pick your preferred experience according to your choices, in an open letter shared on Twitter. Allowing all lawful communication may not be that simple. Content restrictions differ throughout the globe, and the new Digital Services Act in Europe enforces strict moderation criteria. But Elon doesn't follow rules blindly when it comes to free speech, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Number 2. The Return of Trump The most noticeable early shift, however, may be who is and is not permitted on a Musk-owned Twitter. Musk had said that he believes Twitter should be reluctant to erase stuff and very careful with permanent bans. This might imply that a slew of problematic, far-right leaders and conspiracy theorists, among others, will soon return to the site. Musk, for his part, has concentrated on reintroducing one of Twitter's most notable former users, Donald Trump. Following the events of January the 6th, Trump was permanently banned from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. His remarks were judged provocative, and Twitter issued a warning about the potential for additional instigation of violence. Officials in President Joe Biden's cabinet are concerned that Musk's takeover of Twitter may enable Trump and other Republican strategists barred from the network to rejoin. Trump has said that he would not return to the microblogging network even if Musk reinstates his account, preferring to focus on his own truth social platform. Thanks to Musk's arrangement, Trump might be back on Twitter by November elections. I do believe it was incorrect to prohibit Donald Trump. I believe it was a mistake, Musk stated in May. I would lift the permanent prohibition. But, in my view, and I want to be clear, Jack Dorsey shares this perspective, we should not have perma-bans. However, suppose Trump accepts Musk's offer to return to Twitter. In that case, he might regain a sizable following that he hasn't had since being banned from the network in January of 2021, just as the battle for the 2024 United States presidential elections heats up. Trump has just 4 million followers on Truth Social, whereas he had over 88 million followers on Twitter. As you can see, there is a big difference. Number 1. Everyone gets an edit button. Twitter has developed an edit button that would enable users to amend tweets after they have been sent. According to the company's vice president of consumer products, Jay Sullivan, it has been the most requested Twitter feature for many years. It will be accessible to all Twitter Blue subscribers in the United States. Still, there is no news on whether it will be available to regular users at some point. Users would be able to utilize the edit tool to correct typos or mistakes in a tweet without losing the previous responses, retweets, or likes. However, how to apply it while avoiding misuse, such as modifying remarks after others have retweeted or supported them, remains an issue. An easy option would be to monitor modifications via a log of revisions, similar to Facebook and Slack where individuals can check the history of changes on a post. This tool, however, has often been misused by fraudsters, resulting in years-long edit wars. At the moment, only Twitter Blue subscribers may modify their tweets. Twitter Blue, at the moment, is a $4.99 per month premium service that allows you to view news items without adverts and enables experimental new features such as the edit button. Furthermore, only the Twitter mobile app, not the website, allows you to modify tweets. Interested users are advised to go to the Twitter website or app to sign up for Twitter Blue and begin editing after joining. Go to a tweet you posted within the previous 30 minutes and press the three dots in the top right corner. Then choose Edit Tweet. You may only modify a tweet sent within the past 30 minutes. Once those 30 minutes have passed, 
the tweet is irreversible. It's also important to note that a pencil symbol appears on the message when you update a tweet, indicating that it was modified and when you did it. Users may choose that icon to see all versions of the tweet, including the original. Moreover, your tweet may only be edited five times. The modification tweet option will be removed after you have completed your sixth edit. Retweets, responses, and polls cannot be edited. Finally, you must modify your tweets on the same device you sent the initial tweet from. So, if you send an initial tweet from your iPhone, you won't be able to change it from your Android device. And probably what Elon Musk will do is to make sure you can edit your tweets from anywhere you want, even from your Tesla Model 3 infotainment system. So, the future looks bright for Twitter.